and boom, look at that. Every minute our function is being executed and finishing with a status code of 200, which means success, and it's running our log. So here we've got the framework for Cloud Functions using Golang and deployed by Terraform. Here we're going to build a Cloud Function schedule in GCP that invokes every five minutes. We're going to be using Golang and we're going to deploy it using Terraform, which is good fun. So let's get going. I've got a new directory. So first, let's create a Go mod file. And this will be our main module. And we'll use Go 1.20. We're going to make a main file, package main, and then func main. And we're going to make our package, which is where my function lives. Here we have function.go package my function. So we're building the place where our function runs. And here is where we declare the handler for Google Cloud Functions to invoke. And we're going to be invoking this every minutes you can set it to whatever you want this is the go way of declaring a, uh, a route and we're going to have this function called run function run function and it's going to print hello done it like this so that we can export run function to our main go.file. file let's test if that function runs go run dot which will run main oh, hello so we just want to run this in GTP every five minutes. Easy. So let's create the Terraform. So create a new module or a new directory called Terraform. And then let's call this main.tf. In main.tf, we're going to want a bunch of Terraform resources. So I've just copied this in, but essentially this is creating a bunch of resources like the bucket to hold our Terraform state. We're setting some configuration about region and project. The bucket where the actual cloud function code will live. A zip resource. Uh, a bunch of other things, right? Scheduled cloud functions. So this is the function that we're actually going to make. Here's some examples. And here is where you can set more environment variables, like you might have some secret key here, blah, blah, blah. And this is the special line here. So this is where your handler, this is the, the, the function, this name, like this handler must match the function name. Like that. Cool. And then we've got a bunch of other resources like service account, the IAM member invoker, and the job. So this is where you set it to five minutes. So it's like you could set it every two minutes, 10 minutes, etc. I'm going to copy and paste this so you can have a flow. This is the boilerplate. Let's also add variables.tf and add variables. Declare add name. This will have the default cloud funk example description, which is optional. Yeah. Okay, and then in a instead of to provide the variables here, we can actually have TF terraform if files. Cool. And this is where we can declare our app. 
Okay. Probably want to add a git ignore too, so that you're not committing this. So I've just done an initial commit and I've added a, a standard Terraform git ignore so our variable file and state files aren't going to be committed. Okay. Let's check that we've got Terraform installed. We do. Terraform init sets up all the backends and lock files and things like that. And then Terraform plan. Cool, so it's going to create all of our resources. It's going to create it in this, this project. Terraform apply. that's creating it's creating all the resources in your Google Cloud platform it does it under the account that you have in your your G Cloud so you have to have G Cloud installed so whatever your account you've got all here this is the account that will run oh you can see in your console that's all completed open up your group cloud, you can see that we're deployed, which is awesome, and we're executing the handler function. Function. So if we go in there, we will see things run. Let's go to our logs. This is a trigger endpoint, which is forbidden. That's fine because we've only enabled the, the IAM role inside cloud functions to execute it. While we're waiting, let's say update this to every one minute. Terraform apply. You can see that Terraform's awesome because it does a diff and it shows it will only update the schedule. So we'll accept. Ooh. And then if we go back to our functions. And boom, look at that. Every minute our function is being executed and finishing with a status code of 200, which means success, and it's running our log. So here we've got the framework for Cloud Functions using Golang and deployed by Terraform. Super cool stuff. And then to extend this further, this is where you'd go to the my main and you'd do something more complex here, like you might hit an API might scrape something, you, know, you might like call your mate, do a Twitter post, something like this. And then you can set the schedule of when you want this function to run. Pretty easy, so I'm going to put this code below if you wanted to use it. And have a great day everyone.